This is the set of a criminal investigation department of a scene from the soon to premiere television series by fast rising filmmaker Innocent Ide Chukuma, popularly known as One Soul. The detective story, which follows how a couple of individual characters deal with their own personal issues while still dealing with external work and life pressure, stars beauty pageant winner turned rapper and now actress Munachi Abi, simply known as Muna, alongside Caroline Danjuma, who is returning from a long sabbatical, and fresh actor Kingsley King. After about three months of intense shooting, the cast and crew appears a bit fatigued. King, who plays Simon, a lead investigator, lifts the spirit on set with his boisterous charisma. Here, he channels his inner pop star from the 80s to everybody's delight. I'm actually not just an actor, I'm also an artist. I do music. Well, I started with music before doing this. Um, I believe there are times where we should have fun. It's always needed on set. Due to the amount of tension everybody brings to set. So sometimes I find it so calm and quiet that I just have to do something to bring everybody back to life. Because that's the only way we are sane on set. We, we seem to lose our minds sometimes, you know? But um, I clown a lot. Written, produced and directed by One Soul, who already has a couple of feature-length movies to his credit, is super overwhelmed by the ability to achieve a long-standing dream of shooting a big-budget television series. I, I, I used to hear them say, um, dreams come true. I mean, that's the word. Um, I would say for the... I've had a lot of fulfilled dreams, but um, you know, I've never believed how much a dream can actually come true until I step on the set of Holy Girl. It, it was more like everything that I've dreamt of in the last five, six years of my life, it's playing back in my face. So Already shown herself to be a woman of many parts, Muna plays Rebecca, a cute female officer who is motivated by personal ambitions. It's crazy. <laughs> I tell you that much. It's it's intense being in uh, playing a different character away from the Muna character <laughs> for a long time. Um, I chose to do this role because I wanted to do something different. I just thought it'd be nice if I looked like a cop, you know. But yeah, and I do look nice. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> and um, the the let me say the similarities between Muna and Rebecca is the fact that they both have big dreams and they are both um, very powerful. They're determined to make a difference somehow. And also, they're lovers. They love a lot. I don't know why it's a mess. <laughs> but I know, but they do. And, and yeah, so that connected me to the character as well and you know seeing as she had a soft spot for her partner Simon yeah. and you know she was determined to be his ride or die and be there for him but then he took a bullet for her which was you know very intense. Master shots, take one. <laughs> And Danjuma, who returns from a many years long screen hiatus, picks up a significant role of Miss Cuckoo, 
the head of an investigating unit. Um, well, my character's um, name is Miss Kuku. She's the boss of the CRU, the Central Intelligence Unit. And they are more like the SSS as well. And um, I said yes to the entire script, not the character. One so who happens to be the director, the scriptwriter, and the producer had given me the script and said, just read it. And I read it and I fell in love with it. And he told me that um, I was to play Miss Kuku that it fits my personality since <laughs> he said I'm a boss, which sounds very good. And I loved it. And uh, ever since I came on set, it's been amazing to order people around. The interpretation of the Nigerian law enforcement agent is a sharp contrast to the general public perception of the Nigerian police in reality. This is a deliberate move on the part of one soul. I was lost in my creative world when I was writing Holy Grail. And then apart from that, I have always seen our police or our law enforcement agencies being portrayed, you know, in a negative light. And then um, um, I, I, I think they are brilliant people. I think um, if they had the kind of tool the guys in America and the rest have, they would, they would do better. So when I was creating the Central Intelligence Unit in Holy Grail, I thought about taking or bringing our investigating um, um, team to a different level where you will see them in my series and you're like, oh, is this how the Nigerian police look now? And after all the creativity is achieved, filmmakers are usually faced with the big reality challenge, how to distribute in a manner that guarantees returns on investment. One soul is, however, not making that a headache for the moment. One thing about me is I'm not moved by how much I make from a project. I'm a dream fulfiller. I am inspired by the end product. That's fulfillment for me. Consistency is key for me. Um, does it make me happy at the end of the day? Yes. I, I don't think of money. Money comes when it comes. If, if you ever think of the money, you will never get, get the job done. So I, I hope to make the money back. But if I don't make the money back, I would always be happy for the rest of my life because I once had a certain dream that needed to be fulfilled and, and it was done. And for the rest of my life, I will be referred to as that guy who made a TV series called Holy Grail and everybody loved it. Holy Grail is expected to premiere in the last quarter of this year.